A violent month in Durham is ending the same way it began, with a shooting. So far this year, at least 20 people have been shot in the Bull City. And that includes two people killed just this morning in a shooting which left two other people hurt. WRL's Durham reporter Sarah Kruger spoke with the top leaders in Durham about the continuing issue. Anytime there's a shooting in Durham, it hits home for the mayor and the chair of the county commissioners. It's a pain they too have personally experienced. On the first day of this month, five people were shot outside a subway on North Miami Boulevard. Now on the last day, four people were shot on Sudbury Road. Two of them did not survive. This is an issue that the county and the city can't do separately. We have to do it together. For County Commissioner Chair Brenda Howerton and Mayor Elaine O'Neill, gun violence will always be an important issue because they know it firsthand. You never can feel that gap. I've had to take my child to the grave and bury them. And that is just something that you never get over. According to Durham police, there were 96 shootings in the city this year as of January 28th. This month, at least 20 people have actually been hit. That includes Alvis Gentry, killed January 20th on Maureen Road, and Shakita Rivers, killed yeah. January 27th by Duke yeah. Park. We've been engaged in a lot of work um, that people don't see. O'Neill says that includes securing a grant to focus on stable housing and working on job training programs. That hopefully will enhance living situations for folk. They say they'll work tirelessly as elected officials and as mothers, working for a better Durham for the next generation. For now, I both still have sons, and um, there's not a day that go, goes by that we don't worry about that. That's, that's real. Yeah, um, it doesn't go away. Sarah Kruger, WRAL News, Durham. Meanwhile, the number of young people going to Wake Med in Raleigh after being shot tripled in 2021. In the next 15 minutes, WRAL Investigates has new numbers showing the impact of gun violence on Triangle Hospitals and the new program trying to help people after they are hurt.